Hey Eden, hey everyone at River City Live. I am so glad to be here today. This is not our normal spring clean segment. We are in a shelter in place order and I have been getting bombarded with questions on my social media on how to get organized when we're buying in excess. And it's there's such great questions because we normally do not shop the way we are shopping right now. So today I'm here to give you tips on how to get organized, whether you have a big pantry, a small pantry or no pantry, just a cabinet. And the first thing I like to tell everybody to do is to sort. Sort like items. It saves time and it saves money. So sorting even something as simple as spice packets, taco sauce packets. How many times have you bought extra packets only to come home and find that you already own four or five of them? So this is great. It's divided and it slides in and off the shelf. I have talked about Lazy Susans on so many segments and these are a favorite. I use them everywhere, even in bathrooms. It allows you to see everything you own, which prevents you from buying items you don't need. You'll hear me say that a lot. And another favorite is this expandable organizer, which is for canned goods. It steps up, so it allows you to see all the canned goods and items that you own. These are a favorite because they have handles, so sorting snacks, pastas, rice, breakfast foods, snacks for the kids' lunches so they can help you pack their lunches, They keeping back stock, for all the items, if you're buying three or four of your favorite items, keep it all together in back stock and also keeping all your paper products together. It just keeps everything neat and organized and allows you to see what you own to make your grocery list. So when you're going to the grocery store, you are only buying what you absolutely need still. And another area is on the floor of a pantry. A lot of times when I come into a client's home, everything's just thrown on the floor. Right now, this space is really valuable because we're buying a lot of this. And these are already in plastic bags, so you can keep them on the ground without worrying they're gonna get dirty. Same with items like cups or soft drinks, bottled water. So utilize this space at the very bottom of your pantry. I hope you gathered some really great tips. And if you want to learn more about getting organized or learn more about me, go to neatlydesigned.com or on my Instagram at neatlydesigned or on Facebook, neatlydesigned. Thanks, Eden. Miss you.